Welcome back to the Corkers News Tech Lab. Today I'm going to give a demo of a Fire TV for new Fire TV owners. My hope with this video is it helps you learn something about your Fire TV you may not have known and help you get started with your Fire TV to answer many of the most popular questions we get from new Fire TV owners. We find there are a lot of them that repeat over and over, so I'm hoping to address them in this video. So if you're an experienced Fire TV owner, you probably know this stuff. If you're new or fairly new, I'm hoping this video is for you. First, if you are new here, hey, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Helps us a lot because it lets YouTube know we, you enjoy what we're doing here. And hopefully we can help you get the most of your Fire TV. And maybe if you haven't, ditch cable and still watch the shows you enjoy for a whole lot less. Well, let's dive into it. So when you plug in your Fire TV, make sure you just follow the instructions on your screen. You unbox it, plug it into the um, wall outlet, plug it into the HDMI port on your TV and it's gonna walk you exactly through the steps right there. If you purchase it from amazon.com, it may already even be paired with your Amazon account, so you're all set there. Otherwise, you're just gonna log into your Amazon account. That's super simple, really easy. Follow the instructions on the screen. But what happens when you turn on the TV? Now what, where do you go? So I wanted to give you a few pointers, give you some an idea about this. Now when you first launch, this is the Amazon Fire TV home screen. This is a spot where you're gonna find things like recent apps you've used, all your different um, apps you've installed. Really think about your Fire TV as a phone, like an iOS or an Android phone. Um, there, you know, you install Netflix, Hulu on your phone, you log into it and you can watch it on your phone. Your Fire TV does basically the same thing. It works just like a phone, you plug it in, and now you have access to things like YouTube and Locast and Netflix, Hulu, all the Amazon Prime stuff as you expect and more. So we'll get over that in a moment. And then you just have different rows of different content. Like I'm logged into my Netflix account, so there's a row here for Netflix and more. But if you want to get to all of your apps, there's a couple ways to do that. The easiest way is just go down a couple rows here on the Your App and Channel section. Go one to the left, and here is your app section. This is where you can go and install whatever apps you may have, you know, PlayStation View, um, Sling TV, et cetera. Whatever you may have is here. To add new apps um, to your Fire TV, it's very simple. You could type them in by going up to the very top left corner and typing in like Netflix, or let's, uh, let's use the voice search. Right on your remote, you could press this button right here, and you can do things like YouTube. And now it's gonna pull up all the different YouTube apps. Oh, I've already got YouTube installed, so let's go do something else. Stir. So I search for it, and oh, it's going to the solid verbal. That's not what I wanted. Pluto TV app download. Click on that, right here, under apps, Pluto TV. So you just search for it. Sometimes the voice command is very good, Sometimes it's not, as you just saw. But it will also suggest similar ones. Um, so I can say, hey, I wanna download this or I wanna download the popcorn flicks. And then right here, I just select on get this for free and it will automatically download it, just like it would on your iPhone or Android phone, et cetera. Um, so there, that's how you get to your apps. That's how you add apps, very simple. Just take advantage of your remote, either click on the little search icon in the top left or just Ask your voice command through by pressing the voice button at the top here, and then say Netflix or get Hulu or download Netflix, and it will bring it to you. So let's dive in a little bit more into the home screen here. So right across the top of the home screen, when you first turn on, on your um, Fire TV or anytime you hit the home button on your Fire TV remote, there's a whole line here. So home is this screen. There is a live TV section, which is really cool. And this takes all the live content from all the different apps. So you see I got Pluto TV here. So it includes some of the free stuff. But if you have like a PlayStation View, Philo, Sling TV, DirecTV Now, et cetera, you can also access it all here. So I'm logged in with that, um, with I think PlayStation View right now. Yeah, PlayStation View. So you can see I'm seeing all my PlayStation View content at this moment here. But it also shows things like Pluto TV in this line and more. I can even go and if I subscribe to HBO here, HBO would appear here too which is really great. So all this content is here in one easy spot. I don't even have to launch into the PlayStation View app to find all my live content here. Now, one thing you can do is there is actually a traditional cable guide that a lot of people love. It's a little hidden. If you go into Live tab, and you go down to one of these channels like ESPN, 
If I hit the little menu key, the line with three dots on it on your remote, you see there's an option that pops up here that says channel guide. If I click on this, it brings up a traditional channel guide. Now the cool thing here is, I'll show this a little bit more, I use the Fire TV Recast DVR that streams my antenna to my Fire TV. So I'm also getting my local channels um, from my antenna in here. So right here is my local channels for my antenna. Right next, the content for my PlayStation View. And other apps will even put their content in here also. Let's keep scrolling all of this down. So you see here is Pluto TV listed inside this guide too. So it's a really cool option. And the cool thing I love about this guide is no matter where you have your content, if it's from um, Sling TV or PlayStation, or excuse me, PlayStation View, not all live TV services support it. Pluto TV, your antenna, it's all right next to each other. So I could be just doing some surfing and say maybe um, watching the PGA Tour is what I want, but maybe you know it's on my antenna. Maybe there's you know Me TV right here from my antenna, um, you know Rifleman, etc. It's here. Maybe this is what I want. I love the fact that it's all right next to each other in a single spot. And to get that, again, when you're in this like live sports pro, if you click on the menu button, you select channel guide right there, you can bring it up. You can also hide channels here. So if you didn't want, if you're not a sports fan, I don't care about sports, I want to go on, you can hide that channel there. So um, let's keep moving. So this is the live tab. Again, you get to that in the home screen at the very top, it says live. And it brings all the live content in a single spot, which is really cool. There's the, your videos. So if you have an Amazon Prime or Amazon Video account where you've been buying videos, this stuff here, Amazon Prime members will see Amazon Prime content in here, Netflix content will go in here and more. So this is like content you own. This isn't going to be content that is suggested to you to buy, which is pretty cool. Um, and then there's the DVR. Now, I use something called the Fire TV Recast DVR, which is a DVR you connect to your Wi-Fi network, you plug into your antenna, and it streams it to your Fire TV here. If you're a core cutter, I highly recommend you check out the Fire TV Recast as an option to get your locals over there. And this is where you'll manage that. So you can see I got a list of all my live local channels. Again, I could hit that menu, bring up the channel guide if I want. I could see my recordings. So I'll record the CMAs, my local news, the Bernie Mac show, Price is Rights here. I can also manage things like the channel guide, schedule recordings, I'll record in priority to say, hey, you know, this is more important than that in the order. And my overall DVR settings, which is pretty cool. I will put a link in the show notes down below to my Fire TV Recast review on YouTube. So if you want to learn more about that, it's down there, down below. All right, the next tab up at the top is movies. And as you would expect, here are a ton of movies. You got the IMDb free movies from Amazon. You got Prime for your Prime member movies. And then it will show you a lot of stuff it doesn't necessarily you own that some of this content will be to rent or buy. Like here's new movies that just came out available to rent or buy, popular movies available for rent or buy and more. So not everything in these categories is necessarily free, even if you're a Prime member. Prime does give you an access to a huge amount of movies and TV shows, but it doesn't give you everything. If you think about it, you're paying 10 bucks, so you really can't expect everything to be there. Though it is one of the larger catalogs in all of uh, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. So check that out in the movie category there if you're looking for a movie to watch. And same with TV shows. This is TV shows out here that it recommends from different places, you know, and more. Where you, Some of them you can buy, some of them are included with Prime, and more. And then apps. This is another spot to get to that app row, the same as I showed you earlier. And again, you're going to find a huge catalog of featured apps. Here are a ton of featured content. Um, you know, kids apps, music, these are app bundles where if I click on music, it's gonna bring me to all the different music apps. Uh, again, if you're familiar with, for instance, um, your iPhone or your Android phone um, app store, you're gonna be right at home. Like here's entertainment, YouTube, Pluto TV, NBC, you know, sports, different sports apps. No cable required. These are services you can subscribe to, watch the content even if you're not a cable subscriber. Some of them are free and more. So definitely check this out. Explore through here. There are so many great apps in here, so much great content that if you don't explore it, you're probably missing out. So I highly recommend every couple months maybe 
check out the what's new section on here um, to see what's of interest to you. Check out the different bundles, like hey, kid, kid bundles. Just kind of see what's in here. Boomerang, some PBS kids, iHeart Family for music, Nick Jr. and more. So really a cool option here. Um, and lastly is your settings tab. So I'm gonna quickly go over this. Um, this is kind of a huge category here, but it gives you a lot of information. Of course, you got your notifications here where you can um, see if there's any information. For some reason, it thinks my Fire TV recast is offline, so it's giving me a warning. I think it's doing that because I have two and one of them is, is actually offline right now. You have network, and under network is where we can connect to different networks out there and see uh, if you want to change your Wi-Fi network and more. Your display and sounds. This is where you can do things like, hey, I want to change what kind of screensaver there is. Um, I, so they give you different options for different screensavers. You can change how fast the screensaver comes on. I can configure the resolution of my display, change the color formatting and more. Um, with audio, I can set up surround sound and different things if I have a surround sound system connected. Turn off the audio for the, the menus as I'm clicking through here if I so want and more. For applications in here, I can change um, different settings, like if I link my Amazon photos or my game circle content. For the app store here, I can enable or disable in-app in um, in purchases. So if you have kids and you don't want them buying stuff, you can go in here and turn that off. Um, hide cloud apps. Um, for instance, if you download an app on one Fire TV, it goes into the cloud for all your other Fire TVs. So you can see them in the app row with like a little cloud icon and that's telling you, hey, if you click, you've installed this on another Fire TV, if you, um, you can download them here. If you don't want that, you can just turn that off and you won't see them. So play around with this, manage installed applications. You can see I got five gigabytes, how much space. I can go and delete this, you know, these apps if I decide I don't want them. Oh, you know, I'm not watching Business Insider anymore. Let's remove it. Um, equipment control, this is where your Fire TV remote, which will be set up during the initial setup process, can detect the TV and um, power it on and off, change the volume and more. You can adjust that right here, manage equipment here and more to um, reset that. And so forth, live TV, if you have the DVR connected through the Fire TV recast, you can control it there. You can pair and add new remotes, change that. Um, edit your Alexa settings here, which is the voice search, and you can turn it on and off, get suggestions on things to try. Uh, preferences, as you expect, different things, parental controls. If you have kids, highly recommend you take advantage of the parental controls, prevent them from purchasing things. That's what my I use it for in my house. But you can also block certain types of content if you so choose. Um, my Fire TV in here, you can do things like restart your device. If you ever want to sell it, you can reset the factory defaults to get rid of it. You can set a sleep timer, say, hey, if it's not being used after so much time, turn this off, etc. Accessibility, if you have any disabilities, here are things like closed captioning, voice view to help for the blind, screen magnifier, and more um, to help there. So that is a quick look at your Fire TV. It's just a quick overhead of what you should check out if you're a new Fire TV owner. Again, this is for new Fire TV owners. We have a lot of videos of like top 10 free Fire TV apps and more. So make sure you hit that subscribe. Check out our other videos. I'll put a playlist down below in the links so you can see all of our Fire TV videos. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and check back for more core cutting news, tips, tricks, and reviews.